In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Snapbridge enabled Nikon DSLR to your smartphone. First of all we need to download the Snapbridge app. I'm on an iPhone so I've just gone into the app store and typed in Snapbridge. I have already downloaded this once so I've already got the uh, download icon so download that and then when that's done we'll move over to the camera okay it's so on the camera we need to go into the menu you need to make sure that you are on the spanner icon and then you need to click on connect to smart device you then get this menu or this uh, option rather and then just press ok and you'll get that screen once you've got that screen, you need to go back to your camera and then you need to open up Snapbridge, the app. It'll ask you several things. Do you want to allow it? Just click allow on all of those. And you can see there the name of the camera has come up. So if I click on that, click on it again when it comes up with that. And then you'll get this message here asking if that code is the same as what's on the camera, which it is. So on your camera, press OK, and on the phone, press Pair. And as you can see, we are now connected. And you can see it will send photos to your, to your smart device as they are taken. So as soon as you take a picture on here, it will send it to your phone. There's a couple of other options you get here. You can download the GPS location data from your phone onto the pictures. Uh, if you want them GPS tagged, I'm going to say no. And you can sync the clock with the smart device. I'll say yes for that. So that part's done. Now you can, if you want, sign up for a Nikon ID. Um, it offers you uh, some cloud storage and all that sort of thing. I'm not going to bother for now. I'm just going to go sign up later. So, click next. It tells you all what the app does and what you can do. Just keep clicking next, next, next. Get started. So you can see at the top here we've got the camera listed. And um, we've also got the amount of battery that's left on the camera. And then we've got three options here, auto download, upload location, and synchronize clock. Those are the two things I just uh, did on the camera. You can see on auto download, it's actually paused at the moment. I can restart that if I want, and that will automatically download all the pictures that's on the camera onto my phone. If I click on camera on the bottom here, you can see I've got two options, remote photography and download selected pictures. Now unfortunately on the D3400 we only have Bluetooth, we don't have Wi-Fi. So I can't actually click, well I can click on the remote photography one but it doesn't work because we don't have Wi-Fi. Um, even though it says enable Wi-Fi, it's not on the camera, you can't unfortunately. So you can only use this one which is download selected pictures. When you click on that, this will actually connect to the camera and show you all the pictures that are stored on the SD card. So all these pictures here are actually on the camera. When you find one you like, you can click on it and it will open it up bigger. It also displays a little bit of information about it on the bottom. And then you can click on download. And you can either download a 2 megapixel JPEG or the original size JPEG. And then that will actually download it onto your phone and then you can access that through your normal phone gallery. I'm just going to go back on the other button. Uh, some other stuff you can sign up for the Nikon ID if you didn't before. And there's just some other stuff on there that's not particularly interesting. The gallery button you've got a choice of the latest images that you've downloaded off the camera or if you click on all that will actually open up your phone gallery 
So when the camera has finished transferring all the images uh, to the phone, you'll actually see the gallery icon down there goes red. And you can see there's a, some pictures I just took. Now if I go back to connect, and then I'm going to take another picture. Um, I'll take a picture of the phone so you can see it. Let's see how long it takes for that image to actually transfer. You can see it's starting to go already. And keep an eye on the icon down the bottom there. As soon as that goes red, that image will have. There it is. And there's that picture. So it's pretty quick. Uh, it's not instant, obviously, but it's pretty quick. And it's got all the information there of that picture that I just took. So that's pretty cool, really. Um, Obviously, once they're on here, you can upload them to Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. So it's a quite handy feature to have. Just a shame that you can't remotely control the camera on the uh, Nikon D3400, but I believe the other models in the D5000 series and the 7000 series, you can have that option. So there you go, guys. Hope that was helpful. How to set up SnapBridge with your Nikon DSLR.